Hello and welcome to the Open Pacific and the research vessel Thomas G. Thompson. This is Callan Bentley. I'm going to take you on a little tour today of some dredging that we did in Hawaii. The archipelago of Hawaii consists of many islands. One of them is Oahu. And a couple million years ago, the northeast side of Oahu fell off into the Pacific Ocean. Our research vessel went and parked over this giant submarine landslide complex and narrowed in on a target, one of the seamounts there, in order to deploy some dredging equipment and scrape up some pieces of the sea floor. We're up early this morning because uh, of a special operation. They're going to be testing some new dredging equipment and they're getting ready to deploy that over here. We are northeast of Oahu uh, above this giant landslide deposit on the seafloor. And the uh, mission here, the, uh, the goal, is to sample some of those rocks at a depth of uh, over three kilometers. dredge has been deployed and the cable is paying out. The tension number is in pounds and you can see here that the numbers are getting up towards uh, a thousand at peak uh, tension. The cable is paying out, uh, I guess we're at 93 meters now and the speed is 33 meters per second. So this is a fairly spectacular um, incidental on this uh, STEM Seas 2YC cruise. Um, we happen to be sharing the cruise with a group called Marsam, and they're testing out some new dredging equipment. And um, so we got to be present for this test dredge. So we're a bit northeast of Oahu, and we're about three and a half kilometers above one of the largest submarine landslides on this planet. So if you look at it in Google Earth, you can see these giant blocks that have come off of Oahu and off of Molokai and slid down to the north, probably producing the mother of all tsunamis when they did. So we've just scraped off some of the rock from the top of that and brought it back up here to the surface. We have lots of chunks of basalt. This is a porphyritic basalt, so that means it's got big visible crystals of olivine surrounded by a fine-grained uh, matrix or ground mass. And some of them actually look like they might have some inclusions, like right here by my thumb. This looks like it might be a, a clast of foreign material, a xenolith within the basalt. And so I'm pretty excited because that might potentially be a, a little chunk of Earth's mantle that came up through uh, a volcanic elevator to the surface and then got slumped off into the deep ocean. Quite a journey. <laughs> 